Welcome back. Well, we have Ava Marie Rodriguez Morris here on behalf of Emeritus Saddleback College. Well, welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you for it's great to be back for sure. I know it's been a while. And <laughs> I know, um, you know, we've spoken to a few people that have taught at Emeritus um, uh, area for, for quite some time. And I know that over the holiday, or not the holiday, but the COVID, you guys yes. were great about uh, teaching online, which was wonderful. Yes, it, it was quite an experience to be saying, to, to be told rather that you have two weeks to get on online. <laughs> and you're like, what does that mean? Right. But it really was a great experience. And I think for my classes, because I teach art history, mm -hmm. it actually helped. Yeah. because they, the students were able to have the image up close oh. and really explore the details of it, which okay. was so nice. Well, yeah, and then also they didn't have to leave and they could stay in the comfort of their own home. So I think it's really a whole new world yes, for those who were online, yes. huh? And, and we didn't have to leave. We could stay yeah. at our home yeah. for us yeah. as instructors. It was, it was kind of nice. But now you're back in teaching in the classroom. Yes. Okay, and uh, you said you teach art history. I do. And how long have you been doing that? Well, I've been at Saubat College since 2014, okay. and I started with the Emeritus in 2017. Oh, okay. And I have to tell you, I love teaching the Emeritus. I don't think I'll go back teaching on <laughs> campus. Um, but it, it's been a wonderful experience, yeah. and I don't really consider myself teaching more as sharing. Okay. Because our students have such wonderful, diverse experiences. Mm -hmm. They're very well traveled, mm -hmm. and it's wonderful when we can look at it work of art and they'll be like, oh, I saw this. And you know, the experience of seeing art in person right. is so different mm -hmm. than seeing it in a picture or in a book or on a big screen. Right, now have you always um, loved this? Is this what you did in college and? No, I actually fell into art history. Oh. I went back to school late, so I was a single mom with two kids going back to college mm -hmm. at UCI and I was taking history classes and they said, oh, you better find another class because if you don't take 12 units, you're gonna lose all your financial aid. Oh, heavens. So I'm like, oh my goodness. They said, oh, you can take any class at UCI. Well, right. I'm not gonna take classes that are gonna jeopardize my GPA, so I'm right. trying to find the easiest one. <laughs> It didn't work, but I found the only class that fit into my schedule Okay, uh, being a mom, and that was on, on Greek sanctuaries. Oh, interesting. And I thought that it would be an easy class. My dad's a pastor. I've been in sanctuaries my whole life. Mm -hmm. Greek history, how hard can that be? You're getting a history degree, right? Oh, exactly. You yeah, know. <laughs> I, think, I think you, you misinterpreted that I one. I <laughs> sure did. But it really just opened my eyes uh, to the visual and the history and this, that beautiful marriage of art history. Yeah. And then the rest is history. No <laughs> pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about emeritus and, you know, what are some of your common goals? Well, we have our four pillars, um, as you see behind you, to be academically rigorous, mentally stimulating, mm -hmm. socially engaging, and health improving. Right. And we use that as a foundation for all our emeritus classes. And that's what really elevates the emeritus program from the community center type program, mm -hmm. especially that academic rigorous. Yes. I know for my classes, I have students read peer review articles that you would find in a graduate program okay. and such. Okay, so, so you know, obviously, like you mentioned, the, the people that are going to the emeritus classes, they, they're wanting to learn. Yes. They want to know more. Where, you know, sometimes maybe regular students are, you know, we know we're there because we have to get a, mm -hmm. a, an associate degree or go on to a four-year college or whatever. They may not have as much thirst. And that, I think that is the difference, is teaching students that have truly no motivation to come to class except they love to learn. Yeah. You know, these are lifelong learners. And, exactly. and it does make a huge difference. Probably all the way around, obviously for you and for the student, because you love the fact that they love what they're doing. Exactly. So. And and I love what I teach. Yeah. And Big difference. Exactly. <laughs> Big difference. Exactly. Now yeah. you do art history, but there's lots of different classes that are taught here in Laguna Woods. There are. We there in Laguna Woods you have a lot of different art classes, as you can see in Again, the slide behind you, uh, we have photography, yep. film as literature, um, health classes, as you can see, with the posture and flex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, and then more to come as we are still continuing to open up and offer more classes in person. Right, right. How old do you have to be to participate in the emeritus classes? 
Well, technically, you have to be over the age of 18 and in California. Oh, all that, right. That's like the overall rule. Okay. So really, everyone is welcome oh, okay. to, to the emeritus classes, okay. which and is wonderful. They're free of charge? They are free of charge. Wow. And, and some of the... Some of our, well, I would say most of all, our, all of our instructors are highly qualified. And yeah. so you're getting a lot of bang for no money. <laughs> well, right, yes. right. So then um, just to be, just to kind of understand the way that it works. So many of, the, many of the teachers are teachers. They are certainly certified teachers, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, um, and then does fundraising help pay for emeritus? No, this is all through through the state. Oh, gotcha. I mean, so that's why it's even even more of a benefit, and also okay. why anyone in the state of California technically can take an emeritus class. I see. For only in California. Yeah, only in California. I think they need though. emeritus in other states. Yeah, you know? maybe they do it some <laughs> some places. Well, something similar. Well, our program is one of the flagship programs. Got you it. know, in the country, okay. uh, we service over ten thousand students overall. Okay. Uh, and so we offer a lot of different classes. You know, oh yeah. So which is fun. Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk a little about some of the things that you do. Um, you have, you know, you teach art history, and so you have something called what is an eye workout? <laughs> I love it. An eye workout is a lot easier than a, a full physical physical workout, workout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one just as beneficial. So, in my classes, um, we use or I teach a language, and it's the language of art, which is really about the formal elements. So, when I say formal elements, I mean like color, line, shape, light, balance, so that when the students look at a work of art, they're able to articulate what they see okay. using these formal elements. Okay. And so uh, there, that's just a small example of some of the works of art that we've had these eye workouts, mm -hmm. because it is all about your eye. Right. And it's a very, it can be a very engaging conversation. Mm -hmm. So we've had discussions on paintings for over an hour. Oh. And I finally have to say, we have to move on. Yeah. Love all your <laughs> comments, but see, that's great. Yeah. And because one thing I love about art history and, and then especially this exercise or this activity is that art is whatever it is to you. Mm -hmm. There's no right answer and there's no wrong answer. Mm -hmm. And I was taught that at UCI and I love that because as long as you can support what you see, it's what you see. Right. And so I'm not going to say it's wrong because it's what you see. Right. An example was a painting that I've studied over 10 years. One painting I've studied over 10 years. I use it uh, in every one of my classes. Uh -huh. All my students know it's coming. And I actually learned something brand new oh. from one of the students last week. Okay. That's what I love about art. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Now you uh, do a series, like a distinguished guest lecture series. Yes. All right. So let's talk about how that works. It's a um, it's a Zoom class. It, it is okay. a Zoom, and this is a an emeritus tradition. Okay. It's uh, the Dorothy Marie Lowry Distinguished Guest Lecture Series. All right. That's a long title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and so we have this. Uh, actually, will be my. This is my first year being the moderator of okay. the class, and we have had speakers um, from New York. Mm -hmm. We're going to have speakers from uh, Canada, uh, let's see, South Carolina. Okay. Um, the Getty will be join oh, uh, joining us as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, uh, just from all over the world, we're right. having on um, St. Patrick's Day the department chair of our oh. studies from oh, Boston oh, College. Oh, isn't that interesting? So, so looking forward yeah. to him, and he's doing the um, the harp as an iconic symbol, so that'll be lots of fun. Now, and, do you need oh. to be a student to be able to access the Zoom? You do. Okay. So on the previous slide, it did have right. the uh, registration number, the yes. ticket number okay. that you can join, and there's okay. the uh, website as well for Perfect. people who may be okay. interested. Great. And we have a new subject. Every week is different. Okay. All right, great. Now let's talk about one last thing here. Sure. The adoration of the mystic lamb. Now, why is this important to you? Well, this is just another example of what I do in, our cl in my classes and also an example of how being online has been so beneficial mm -hmm. for the student, mm -hmm. but also the use of technology. Mm -hmm. So this is from the Ghent altarpiece. It's considered one of the most stolen works of art. Oh. And it was by the Van Eyck brothers, completed in, completed in 1432. Mm -hmm. Through a grant uh, with the Getty Conservation Institute, they actually began to restore this. And by restoring this, they actually 
then they were able to digitize it. Mm -hmm. And so if you go, so this is typically what we see in class. Right. So right. here we have Jesus and he's wearing a papal throne, uh, crown. Yep. Very rare to see him in that way and such. That's but, true. But the use of technology allows us to get this close. And if you can go to the next one, you'll see how okay. wonderful this looks. So that's where we're gonna, yes. that's where we're gonna go now. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, look at that. And look at that. Oh, that's interesting how oh. they've done that for you now. Well, it sends chills because you can see the mastery of the Van Eyck brothers. Right. Jan Van Eyck mainly, because if you look at the shadowing within yeah. that, that jewel. Right. And the attention to the, with the light on the pearls. Yeah. And so to see something up that close, it, it's just mind blowing. It and it's just, it. it's wonderful to see that detail because it just correlates. And in some of them, you have to see reflections of yeah. the background of the artist. Yeah. That's amazing. That is just amazing. Well, you have a, an incredible enthusiasm for what you do. <laughs> I and do. I think that <laughs> taking your class would be very fun. So uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. And if you want more information about any of the emeritus classes, you can always go to the website or you can send them an email at sceritus at saddleback.edu or call 949-582-4835. We'll be right back.